Hey guys, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. Today I am taking you with me on a full-time working mom day in the life. So if you are new here, I hope that you like what you see and you subscribe and stick around. I have two kids and I work full-time as a nurse, clinical analyst. I um, have been a nurse for 15 years and I work in a hospital about 45 minutes away in quality improvement. So right now it's early, it's about 5.30 in the morning. Um, I got up at about 4.50 today and um, took my shower and got all ready. So now it's time to get my food and the kids' food ready for the day. They're obviously still sleeping, but they are packing lunches to take to school today. So I'm gonna share with you what I'm packing them, what I'm packing myself, and then you can come along with me today. Uh, I am just going to work and then after work we'll come home cook dinner do some chores so it should be a busy and productive day I've been trying to mix up what I give my kids in terms of like not just a sandwich every day so right now I'm heating up some Annie's mac and cheese for um, Kira she wants a hot lunch today so I have a thermos and I'm gonna go ahead and boil some water and fill the thermos up with hot water and just let that sit for a little bit to prime it and make sure it stays hot until lunch. Sometimes I get questions too about the thermos and no, you don't leave the water in there. You're just putting it in there to get it hot and then you dump it out and then you put the hot food in. So just to clarify. All right, so here's Connor's lunch. I've got a Chobani flip in there for him, a uh, juice pouch. I'm gonna put his sandwich in, and I'm gonna give him an apple, some Pringles, and some Oreos. Bam. All right, and here's Kira's lunch. Lunch. She's got a uh, the thermos of the mac and cheese, some juice, cheese sticks, Chobani flip, uh, pepperoni, and an orange and then I throw in some vanilla wafers and also uh, they've been eating in their classrooms now so I'm also packing making sure to pack a napkin and silverware all right so got my coffee made I'm just gonna put a little bit of half and half in it or a lot of it maybe <laughs> whoops <laughs> uh, and then for dinner not for dinner for lunch today I am taking a tuna sandwich so I always like to pack especially like with tuna salad or chicken salad I pack it separate and then I just assemble my sandwich at work so I've got some wheat bread lettuce tuna and then I have some pretzels and laughing cow cheese on the side and then for breakfast I'll have this Chobani flip in the pumpkin harvest crisp and a pear all right and we're off the biggest lie that I always tell myself is that I'll have time to do it in the morning because you never have time <laughs> to do it in the morning so uh, I'm off to work and my goal is to go on a walk today on my lunch break and I'm trying to at least get in some type of like activity whether it's just like walking or yoga or whatever every day uh, that's something that I don't do very well at and I need to get better at <laughs> So uh, I wanna do that on my lunch break today. I find that if I do it on my lunch break at work, it's just like it fits into my day better and it also forces me to take a lunch break away from my desk, which is something I'm really bad at. So I'm gonna get to work and later on I'll show you what I eat throughout the day and if I take a walk or not on my lunch break. So as I've said before, I have about a 45 to 50 minute commute one way to work. So on any given day, I am in the car for at least two hours depending on the traffic. And one way I pass the time and make sure that my time is productive in the car is listening to audiobooks on Audible. And I want to give a huge thank you to Audible for sponsoring today's Day in the Life video. I really love Audible and I can say that wholeheartedly as I have been using them for many, many years. As a busy working mom, I often don't have time to sit down and read a book, but I really do love to read and consume that type of content. So Audible is one way that I can still listen to a book and get my reading in while I'm working on other things. A few of the titles that I'm listening to right now are Where the Crawdads Sing. Many of you guys have probably read this book already, but I'm still 
still working my way through it. And I'm also listening to Broken Faith, which was actually a recommendation that I read from one of you guys. Audible has also launched stories.audible.com where anyone anywhere can stream hundreds of titles completely free for no strings attached as long as the quarantine lasts. So if you have kids or even if you don't and you just want to listen to some stories, definitely check this out. It is an awesome service they are providing right now. If you guys want to try a free trial of Audible, you can visit audible.com slash Jen Chapin or text Jen Chapin to 500 500 to try Audible today. You know, I really do. I really do love my job. I just feel at times that um, I wish I could be independently wealthy and not have to get up and go to work. But anyway, we carry on. Okay, so on to my work day. It's a little bit before 10 a.m. and I am eating my breakfast right now. The pumpkin spice Chobani flip is fantastic if you haven't tried it yet. And yay me, I did get a walk in on my lunch break today, which was awesome and much needed and it was so nice outside. All right, so it is currently 3.41. I just got off work, got my Starbucks for the ride home. I did take a walk on my lunch break today, so that was awesome. And now we're gonna go home, change clothes, cook dinner, and do some chores. So I see the dishes fairy did not come while we were at work today. It's very disappointing. So what I'm making for dinner tonight is a broccoli and cheese chicken with this gnocchi skillet kit on the side. I got this from Costco, we've never had it before, so I'll have to let you know how it is, but it looks pretty quick and easy. So I've never made this exact recipe for, for the broccoli cheese chicken, but I'll link it down below in case you wanna try it out. For, um, just to start out, I'm just, I rinse this broccoli off and I'm just steaming this in a skillet until it's tender. By the way, I shared these um, Diet V8 Energy drinks with you guys in a little grocery haul and update, they're really good. I actually like these or this flavor better than the lemonade flavor. So if you see them and you're looking for a little bit of energy drink in the morning, I would recommend this. This isn't super like caffeinated. If like, I can't drink those like super caffeinated <laughs> energy drinks, but these are just perfect. Okay, so broccoli is done now. I'm just gonna put it in this bowl. And in here I have some shredded cheddar cheese, about four ounces of light cream cheese, um, some garlic, minced garlic, and we're gonna kind of mash this all up together and coat the chicken breast with it. I'm excited to try this recipe. It's also a low carb recipe if you are doing low carb. Um, I'm using light cream cheese, but you could use regular cream cheese as well. So basically we're just going to sear this chicken on the stove top and then put the broccoli topping on and then transfer it into the oven to cook the rest of the way so we don't need it to cook all the way through on the stove top. All right, so our chicken's done. I'm just going to put about a quarter of this broccoli cheese mixture on top. This is actually quite a bit of <laughs> broccoli cheese mixture. I feel like I could have done two more chicken breasts with this, but, and P.S. I don't know what Connor's laughing about. He's watching something. And also P.S. I hope you like my Pink Floyd shirt because it's casual Thursday around here. This seems a bit messy. <laughs> I'm excited to try this though. I don't think I've ever really made anything quite like this before. Okay, so here is my broccoli and cheese chicken. Sorry, I don't want to tilt it too much or it'll tip over. I'm gonna put this in the oven at 425 degrees for about 10 to 15 minutes until the topping is bubbly and everything is cooked through. One of the things that I hear the most from people about cooking and what they struggle with is that they struggle to cook chicken properly. And I would advise you invest in a thermometer, like a probe type thermometer, if that's something that you struggle with. 
after you do it for years and years you just kind of know when it's done but if you aren't experienced in cooking poultry and you want to make sure that you get it at the correct temperature use a thermometer you can even get the kind where the probe goes into the oven and it hooks up to you know like a digital readout and it will alert you when it's done so just a tip there or if you want to get something like this for you know five dollars <laughs> at walmart you can do that too um obviously i don't really use that method anymore because i'm more experienced at cooking chicken am i not <laughs> we have lost Anyway, once you get more experience in the kitchen and cooking, you won't have to, you know, use thermometers and things like that to check your meat because it's intuitive. And honestly, I think that's why a lot of people get discouraged is because they start to cook and they expect everything to turn out like just right away. And that's not usually how it works. I mean, to me, cooking is like anything else. It's like, you know, bowling or golfing or any other hobby or skill that you learn you get better at it over time and so you know don't expect to be awesome at everything <laughs> right out of the gate uh, i moved out at 17 and so i've been cooking for you know 20 years now and yeah probably the first five years of me cooking i had more fails than not but you know that's just the way it goes you gotta learn somehow okay so this is interesting and this is what came in the package with the gnocchi so it came with the gnocchi and this butter and then the four cheese sauce. So I'm gonna put the butter in my pot, saute the gnocchi and then add the cheese sauce. It should only take about five minutes to put together. So here's what the chicken looks like. Look, it turns out to be a mess on the, on the baking sheet, but I'll put it on a plate and it'll look prettier. All right, so we got the broccoli and cheese uh, chicken, the gnocchi, and I cut up some fresh pineapple. I'll let you guys know after dinner how we like this. All right, so we are done with dinner. It's about 7.30 right now, and I'm sitting here upstairs and folding some laundry. Uh, so verdict about dinner. Uh, the the gnocchi was good. I thought it tasted like really, really plain. I didn't eat very much of it. I most, mostly let Adam and the kids eat it. The kids liked it, of course, because it was plain. And Adam liked it because he really likes gnocchi. The chicken was good, but it wasn't like wow good. I really liked the broccoli mixture on top. The chicken was tender. It was fine. And the kids didn't really like the broccoli mixture so I kind of just scraped it off for them cut it up and then I didn't eat very much chicken but I ate more of the broccoli mixture so anyway I don't think that I would probably make it again although the broccoli mixture kind of reminded me of this cauliflower casserole that I've made before it's like a keto cauliflower bake which is really good so now I thought well maybe I should make it with broccoli and cauliflower so anyway it was a fine dinner it just it didn't wow us but that's fine it doesn't have to be a wow dinner every night, right? <laughs> so I'm going to um, get this laundry folded. I just have a couple loads to fold. The kids are getting um, washed up right now. And I think usually Thursday night is like my most exhausted night of the week. I think just because the anticipation that the next day is Friday and by this point in the week I have not been able to catch up on my sleep because I'm one of those people that just stays up way too late doing stuff and then I have to get up early and then I end up compromising my sleep of course I need to get better at that but I'll probably sleep better tonight since I did do a little bit of exercise today that always helps okay so I got all of my laundry folded I actually went into Connor's room and went through a bunch of his drawers because I knew he had stuff that was way <laughs> too small in there so I actually put a bunch of stuff in my Goodwill box. I always keep a box of stuff for donation in my office and then sorry and that way I can 
as I see things that the kids have grown out of or even that I want to get rid of, I can put it in one spot and then I can decide whether I want to donate it or sometimes I put stuff on Poshmark. So now I'm going to wash some towels. I actually have a bunch of pot holders <laughs> from my kitchen that are like rather gross that I need to get washed. Someone asked me where this sign is from. My laundry room it says so fresh and so clean. I actually got that at Menards, which is like a local sort of like home improvement store. It's kind of like, I don't know, Lowe's, Home Depot, something like that. They're just in the Midwest and that's where I got it. They have just like random home decor stuff. And so I don't, I'm sorry, I don't have a link for it, but it says so fresh and so clean and I love that. All right, so I think this is gonna be where I leave you guys for the night. I just got done washing my face, getting ready for bed. It's 9.30, which is pretty early for me to be getting in bed, so I'm rather proud of myself. Uh, the kids are in bed. Adam finished up his fantasy football draft <laughs> for the evening, so um, you guys have heard me talking quite a lot about my skincare recently, and really my goal in taking good care of my skin now since I haven't really done it up until now or I haven't been consistent about doing it up until now is that I really don't want to have to wear makeup and I know that I don't have to wear makeup but I've always felt like I had an uneven skin tone and I had to cover it up with foundation but as I take better and better care of my skin I'm realizing that I don't have to put foundation on every day I can just put on sunscreen or maybe like a tinted sunscreen a moisturizer and some mascara and maybe a little bit of like brow makeup and that's it so um, that's kind of my goal in all of this and I will be filming an updated like nighttime skincare routine soon I'll probably try to film that next week but anyway thanks you guys for coming along with me today I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to check out audible a big thanks to them for sponsoring today's video all of the information will be in the description box below along with a link so make sure that you check it out I'll see you in my next one bye